Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlotte for those of you who are new and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. This video is taking me way too long to actually sit down and film, but this is finally we got a puppy video and um, I, well myself and my fiance Lewis got our little, our little fur baby on the 1st of January and I filmed a couple of clips of when we first got her in like a couple of clips over the couple of months that we've had her and I just wanted to document this sort of special time in our lives and already just looking back at the photos it's crazy to me because she's just grown so much and um, so I'm not going to bore you too much I'm going to let you watch the footage of us getting Ivy which is what we've called her um, and the couple days after that um, and then I'll bring you back to the present day and just talk you a little bit through the process of us getting her. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is one of the most exciting videos I think I'm going to film or, or think that I've uploaded. It's the 1st of January today and today is the day that we're picking up our little puppy from the Dogs Trust. Our appointment is at half past 10 to go get her. It's currently 9.23. We're ready, we've got the house ready for her. She's got her bed in the kitchen and yeah, I thought it would be one of the most important days in our life so far. So definitely one worth documenting. And I just know that she's going to get so big that when I look back on these videos, I, it's just going to be like two different dogs. But yes, I'm going to take you along with me to go and collect her and see what her first sort of day is like bringing her home. Um, but yeah, I'll go and show you the kitchen and her setup. Okay, so the first thing that we've got that we've puppy proofed the house is a stair gate from the living room into the kitchen because she's predominantly going to be in the kitchen until she's sort of trained and uh, we've got her little dog bowl there her bed she's got her little teddy which we've called ellie uh, a little chew toy we've got the puppy pads ready to go and yeah this is the setup ready for her. We've also got a blanket, a pee pad and some treats for when we go and collect her. Um, so yeah, that's everything all ready to go and get her. So I hope you enjoyed those clips. Um, again, I just can't believe how much she's grown. Um, I'm gonna hopefully bring her in at the end of this video just so you can see like real time how much she's grown. Um, but yeah, so Ivy is what we've chosen to call her. When we adopted her, her name was Chantanay, which it just didn't really stick. We're like, it's no, it's not, she's not Chantanay. I had a name for her 
when we're looking at the photos and stuff and I was like, I just feel like she's an Ivy. Um, so Ivy is from the Dogs Trust. We adopted her when she was eight weeks old. She's now just turned 17 weeks. Um, so yeah, we've we've had her for a couple of months now and um, we were working with dog, well, we had signed up to Dogs Trust, which is where we adopted her from and we were looking to get a dog actually i probably around this time like march april time ideally that's when we were looking to adopt and we'd applied for a couple of dogs and we kept getting rejected and the, the dogs that we were adopt or trying to be matched with were older dogs they were predominantly male um and we just kept getting rejected and that was pretty much because these dogs needed a lot of time, a lot of attention, of which both me and Lewis work full time. So having a dog who's going to be in the house by themselves a lot of the time of the day just wasn't going to work for them. They needed a lot of time and attention because they've been in the dog's trust. They probably were, they just maybe were slightly destructive. So they just needed supervision. Um, so because of that, we kept getting rejected. Then it was the week before New Year's Eve and my partner Lewis got a phone call to say that we've been matched, not to the dogs that we'd applied to, not to a male dog, um, but actually to a puppy, which because we were going down the route of adoption and not like buying a puppy, we never really thought about actually having like a young dog. Um, but they were like, we've got this puppy. Uh, the mum came into Dogs Trust and has a small litter and all the dogs have come in and we think you could be a really good match. So we were told that there was a little eight week old puppy um, that needed a home and if we wanted to come in and visit her. So obviously who wouldn't want to go and see a puppy? Um, so we thought about it. It was a girl, female um, and yeah, it was just a couple of things that we'd not really thought about. We weren't overly fussy about breeds. We just knew we didn't want a dog that molted a lot. I have a lot of hair, although I've just had a lot chopped off. Um, I have a lot of hair and already I don't need a dog that's hairier than me. Like I already create enough mess in this house. So we're like, let's get a dog that is short haired. Um, that is, we didn't want a small dog. We want a sort of a medium to large sized dog one that is very lovable um that is going to be a good family dog for when we have kids eventually so there's all these things that we're looking at and then when we were told about ivy um we we're like okay let's let's have a look so ivy is an american bulldog um and like i said she came into dogs trust when she was four maybe six four to six weeks i can't remember where she actually came into the, the trust um, but essentially she came in with her sisters and her mum because the family that had her previously had split up and they, the dog sort of went with the dad, the family, and ended up sofa surfing. So the whole family came in um, and all of her siblings had been adopted apart from her. So we that's all sort of all we knew really going into it. So the appointment to go and see her was on New Year's Eve. We already had it in our minds then that we were looking to adopt probably sooner than what we initially thought but we were ready so in preparation we had already bought her bed we bought some toys we hadn't bought any puppy food but we were kind of aware um which actually i didn't know with dogs trust and adopting a dog that it can it can happen really quickly like from you being matched and you taking that dog home it can be really quick which you'll see with our story how quickly it was um, so because of that, I mean, I was thinking initially it would take weeks, um, but that really wasn't the case at all. Um, so because we'd already registered our details and stuff, Dogs Trust already had us on their system. So that did speed things up a little bit. Um, so our appointment was on, like I say, on New Year's Eve and we went in and we seen her and she was just absolutely gorgeous. She was quiet, a bit timid. Um, she was very affectionate towards like the, the volunteers at Dogs Trust and um yeah we just i loved her as soon as i seen her like i honestly nearly cried because i just i already loved her um so we kind of had a conversation with the the people at dogs trust and they said look she's been checked over by the vets and like she can be ready to go by tomorrow and we're like 
wow, I honestly thought it would take weeks. Um, so we had a talk and we decided that, I mean, like I said, because we already bought stuff for the house, like we kind of puppy proofed the house. Um, we were, we were sort of in an agreement that, yeah, we want to take her home um, ASAP. All of her siblings have been adopted. I don't like the thought of her being left there. If I know that she's got a perfectly good home that she could come home to and a loving home ready for her. And also, because it was sort of around New Year's Eve, we had a couple of days off after that um, to spend with her. So it just sort of, everything sort of just fell into place. But like I say, that is a time scale. We got matched one week before. We had an appointment on New Year's Eve and we took her home on New Year's Day. So on the 1st of January, we went, and as you've seen from the clips, we went and we adopted her, we brought her home. And um, you'll see the first clips of us in the kitchen, stuff her exploring the kitchen, which is just adorable. Um, and yeah, that's sort of like the story of how we were matched with her which is unusual because they don't tend to put puppies that young like she never went on any websites they never advertised for her um and we were the only people that were matched with her it's not as if they reached out to loads of people um to match her so it is fairly unusual um because a lot of other times you apply to the dog and you and you have to see if you're matched whereas because we were matched with her i guess we kind of jumped through a lot of hoops um i thought maybe that dogs just might need to come out to our house have a look at the house make sure it's okay for her but we actually in preparation through speaking to other people that we know have adopted dogs knew that they like to see a picture of um sort of the area that the dog's going to be living in which for us is the kitchen and your garden to make sure that it's secure so we took pictures and videos of both of those which is what they asked for when we were adopting her um and they were all happy with that so that's sort of the process of the adoption and how that went. In terms of how much it cost us, um, the adoption prices had gone up in January and it was literally the 1st of January when we adopted her. So it went up to, I believe, £208, something around there. It was um, no more than 250 And with that was the adoption fees, puppy classes were included and uh, her neutering as well, which she has just recently had. Um, she is doing so well bless her um and we're just going through all the sort of trials and tribulations of trying to get a puppy like toilet trained um she's doing really good with her recall she's very bitey very nibbly very mouthy still she has actually lost one tooth um already which i didn't realize that happened so soon um and yeah she's doing really well and over the past sort of couple of weeks, we just keep looking at her and just thinking like, I just can't imagine our home without her now. Um, and I wouldn't have changed anything. Although originally we were thinking timescale wise, spring was when we were gonna look to get a dog just because we'd just moved into this house, we just got engaged. Like so many changes happened. I was like, let's just wait on the dog situation. Um, but I think these sort of things when you're approached and there was a match like this i just don't know when another opportunity would have come up and yeah i just feel like it's always meant to have her in our home um so yeah that's sort of the process of how everything went i'm trying not to waffle too much so i hope i covered most things if people are thinking about adopting a dog or going through the dog's trust and the whole process of what that involves um that's how it worked for us but i appreciate it's probably slightly unusual because it, we adopted a puppy and we took her home at eight weeks old so yeah I don't know if that's sort of the same as it would work for a slightly older dog but if you had any questions about either the process of dogs trust or if you think about adopting a dog from there um then just leave it in the comment section down below um and I'll try to get back to you um so yes yeah, so that was the first of Jan we're now sort of middle of March um and there's this whole thing about do you create them what do you do like it's like a minefield of how to train your dog and what you should and shouldn't do we found personally for us and um, originally we didn't get a crate which i wish we'd got a crate from from the offset but she was always really happy and settled in her bed um we did get a stair gate which has been a lifesaver um but it's kind of scary now because she is at the point where she can jump up on a stair gate and open the uh the door between the kitchen and the living room and 
yeah I don't know how much longer it's going to be until she's going to be able to jump over that stair gate um so that's what works for us is we have a crate she has a stair gate our kitchen's quite a decent size so she has sort of full roam of that during the day um what we actually did during the beginning is we brought our ring doorbell from outside and left it inside when we went back to work um just so we could just monitor her throughout the day um and it worked as a puppy cam which really in the beginning gave me a lot of peace of mind because i just didn't know what she was going to be like um whilst we were at, at work and how she would be and we did think maybe potentially she might suffer with a bit of um separation anxiety um but she she managed to calm down and she is a very calm natured dog and she loves fuss and she loves attention um so yeah that's sort of her setup and that's what worked for us um and I think that's pretty much everything. As I said, we've done the puppy classes now, um, which I would recommend going to. They're included in the price of adoption. It's like she knows I'm talking about her. Um, the neutering we've done. And, and yeah, we're now just ready to sort of live the rest of our lives with her, which um, I already just... I just couldn't imagine not having her here with us. So I'm going to see if I can try and bring her up to introduce you to her. Um, obviously you've seen the clips of her from when we first got her, like you will not believe how big she is now and just how much bigger she's gonna get. It should, she should roughly be about the size of a Labrador. So keep that in mind and I'll go and grab her um, for the outro of this video. So this is Miss Ivy. As you can see, as I mentioned, very bitey. Um, but I know that it's something that they tend to grow out of um, uh, as they get older. Like she's only four months, so she's only a baby still. Um, she thinks she maybe have just seen herself. Uh, she's not allowed upstairs, um, although she tries to. Oh, she's licking her bits. Nice. Um, she's not allowed upstairs. We try and keep her downstairs. But now that she's realised she's upstairs, she'll just bolt up them stairs so quickly. But you can see the size of her. She does still think she's a lap dog from time to time and she and a hairdresser. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. If you have any questions, as I said, about the process of adoption or anything to do with dogs trust or puppies or anything like that, just pop it in the comments down below. And yeah, I'm hoping to be back with a couple more videos soon um but you'll just have to bear with me as i just get used to getting back into the rhythm of everything so yes i hope you enjoyed this video and i shall catch you in the next one bye